Hello everyone, in this video what we are going to see is how to use upsert option which is available in the copy activity. Using upsert option you can avoid duplicates and you can update the existing values of the rows as well. What are the SQL scripts which you are going to use in our video, the source file as well as the ARM template of this Azure Data Factory will be shared to our telegram group as well as in the NAS community. I will be providing the URL in the video description, please do join. First of all, let's talk about what is an upsert. Let's say for example, uh, you are trying to copy a data from an Excel file into a SQL table using Azure copy activity. On day one, this is the input Excel file, which has five records, which you have copied into your SQL uh, table. And on day two, you are getting four records out of which these two, meaning like the day before itself, on day one itself, you got these two record on day two also you are getting these two record and only difference here is the sales amount have changed between these two for these two on day two alone the sales amount they have updated from the source if you are simply using a copy activity what will happen is it will create a duplicate copy meaning like one more actually uh, two entries will be there for your record one which came on day one which is having the old sales amount and the other entry which is for the updated uh, sales amount but it will have two entries so which is literally a duplicate right you don't want this so how we can avoid duplicates and also if there is an update from our source file then how we are going to update older values that is where the upset comes into picture if you are using proper upset then what will happen is it won't create a duplicate record instead it will update the values like this it will have those entries the older value of the sales amount have been updated with the latest uh, sales amount value so this is how it works first of all let's see what is source and what is our destination our source is excel and these are the data which we are initially going to load and here if you see we have start period which is starting from day one and it is going up to uh, fifth and similarly for uh, end period as well for this we have different different uh, rates over here so these are the various column uh, which is present in our source and our destination is SQL let me uh, create this table so this is the schema I will be providing the schema in the video description as well so the table is created now Let's jump back here to the Azure portal. I have created a storage account and Azure Data Factory as well. And in the data lake storage account, I have created one container. And here I created one directory. Inside that I have uploaded the source file as well. So let me show the file anyway. So those five records are already here. Let me close it. Let me move to Azure Data Factory. Under Manage. I have created a linked service to the data lake storage account and the to the SQL server for both of them I have created a link which is a simple step now let me go to author icon under author icon the first step is to create a data set to the source so let me create a data set to our source which is that Excel let me search for data lake it is in data lake storage continue and the file is in CSV format. Continue. Let me name the data set. And from the drop down, I am selecting the data lake link which I have created. Let me navigate to our uh, file browse. So this will list out whatever the containers which is available inside our data lake storage. I am going to the source under daily so this is our file I am selecting the file as well in the file the first row is header which is having the column names so I'm checking this and I want to import the schema as well so I'm just clicking on ok now we need to create the data set to our SQL table let me search SQL mine is not a Azure SQL so I'm just selecting SQL Server, click on continue. 
let me name the data set and from the link service drop down I am selecting the link which I have created for the SQL it will automatically load whatever the table available inside uh, my database I want this particular table so I am selecting it if your table name is not at all showing up here you can just click on edit and you can type it and I want to import the schema of the table so I'm just selecting OK let me publish these two data set now let's move to pipeline just click on new pipeline let me minimize this now go for copy activity just drag and drop here my source is the data like whatever the data set we have created for that uh, CSV file right so I'm just selecting it here we have selected the file name itself here so that is why I'm selecting file path in the data set we have already covered while kernel list of files in a separate video and let's move to sync under sync select the SQL table and if you notice here initially the right behavior is insert if you want to uh, auto create the table you can do so from here and there are additional options over here which we are not going to cover in this video now just move to mapping and simply import all those mappings so whatever the column and it is available in the excel it is automatically matching up with whatever available in the sqln we are good now let's run the azure data factory it got completed now let's jump to sql2 to just to make sure whether copy activity is working perfectly see it is successfully copied all those five records now in the source I'm going to insert duplicates along with some new record and we are going to make some changes in the copy activity as well now I'm going to use this source file here already those five records are there along with it I have additional five data as well so this we are going to copy it since this is already a duplicate already this five exist it is going to be a duplicate let's see how we can deal with it I'm going to fast forward this content to waste much time here. Now in the copy activity, just go here under sync, just enable upsert. If you enable upsert, the duplicates won't occur. So just scroll here. What you need to do is you need to select the key columns. For the mentioned columns under key column, it will compare the value between the source and the sync and let's say for example if both the values are matching it will consider the row is already existing so what it will do is it will update all the column values of the particular row if that particular value is mismatching it will consider the entries doesn't exist so it will make a insert in the destination in our example I am considering time period start and time period end as the unique column so whenever the entry already exists it needs to update all the uh, column values if it doesn't exist it want to make an entry usually it will be like your serial number or your employee id or student id or whatever it is the unique id is going to be your key column so i'm selecting upset and i want to select the key columns as well start I need to add one more column which is in now let's run and see if duplicates are inserting or not since absurd is enabled uh, duplicates won't be there anyway let's check it got completed now let's check in SQL end see only totally 10 records are there one and duplicates didn't occur over here now let us verify the, whether the update is happening properly or not so in order to check it I'm going to update a particular column value in the source so let's go to our source and here I'm going to edit a particular value from this uh, editor itself 
let me update a value and in order to save it just click on save now let's run our Azure Data Factory to validate it it got completed now let's cross verify in our source as well yeah it properly updated the value as well and that's it thank you for watching this video please hit subscribe and follow me on linkedin to stay connected